the Atlantic to one on the banks of the Tees. Middlesbrough fighting for Premiership survival go through a tactical reshuffle. Because of suspensions to Gary Pallister and Gianluca Festa, they revert to a flat back four. They have a ball winner back in Paul Ince. Janino, head of the creative department, is left on the bench for the first time since returning to Borough. Well, Arsenal travel north by coach, so Dennis Bergkamp is back with the squad, but he doesn't start. Nigel Winterburn was making noises about leaving Highbury, but he's the only representative of the famous five defenders. Sports up. Campbell. Giga. Int. He's not going to pull out of that challenge, neither was Winterburn. Carnu, Henry ahead of him, Henry gets it. Takes on Vickers, turns Vickers inside out, oh, and almost put it through the goalkeeper. You could see the intentional of the French striker to put it through the goalkeeper's legs. Couldn't quite squeeze it in. Now Winterburn. Missed out Carnu, gave it to Parler. Lugini overlaps, Henry and Kanu await. Parla takes on the whole of the Middlesbrough team! Oh, that would have been a wonderful goal. Ray Parla deciding to go solo. Oh, scoring superbly, he beat the goalkeeper. Sadly for him, his drilled shot bounced back into play off the post. Cooper. Ziga. Cooper. Great little spin from Ricard. He actually stopped his run to check with the linesman. He is onside. Dean at the far post. That's where it is. Oh, he's close. A move of simplicity between the two towering Middlesbrough strikers. Again, Silvino, the man supposedly marking six foot three, Brian Dean. Also, really, with a Split focus, do they concentrate on the UEFA Cup or getting in the Champions League? This is Luzny's cross, and it's a great chance, which is completely missed by Cardo. First half of pretty football, but neither side have been sharp in the final third of the field. Now they've really looked like scoring. Silvino, tracked by Somerville. As we approach the half-time whistle, maybe Henri will attempt a shot at goal. Time running out. It was... Oh! It was a good, very good save by Schwartz. He seemed to go up and catch the ball very, very late. It was strokes majestically for the top corner, and then Schwartz with those rubber arms stretched out to grab it out of the air. Campbell. Curtis Fleming. Dean. Bit of a mismatch in terms of height and weight between Dean and Silvino, but it was the little man who knocked the big man over. It's a corner to Borough. Fleming heads it back in. Ince over the top. Oh, Poland scores! He couldn't believe his luck. Well, we only have the remnants of the famous five defenders. Seaman went off at half-time. The only remnant is Nigel Winterburn. Arsenal are trying to play the old offside trap with new faces. It didn't work. Parler keeping everybody onside and Paul Innes making them pay. Grimondi. The Arsenal defence is hardly overflowing with confidence. They've given the ball away to Campbell. That was an important touch, and it was certainly a back pass from Silvino to goalkeeper Manninger. And many people were worried what would happen when the Arsenal back four finally broke up. And they've got problems if this is the future. And this is crazy because the free kick is level with the penalty spot. So surely the wall should be on the line, the goal line, that is, not the six-yard line. I think, gentlemen, you need to go back another four or five yards. Hardly 
any space closed down and it was blasted over the bar by Ziga. But that was laughable yardage from the referee. Some about Campbell. His exuberance got the better of him. Will he get the better of Vieira? Oh, he's given it straight to Ricard. Ricard keeps going, keeps going, and scores! Ricard the scorer, but a gift from Vieira. It's Ricard's name, which is up in lights. But the shame is on Vieira. He played the ball to the opposition, then stood and watched and left it to Petit, who had it put through his legs. And then Ricard very casually placed it past Manninger to make it 2-0. Team who seemed to be heading for the oblivion of a late-season fight against relegation. They're creating a ten-point gap. This could be three! Oh, Manninger to the rescue of the non-existent Arsenal defence. Vieira strolling in midfield. Canu. 2-0 down, it's not the time to reserve your energy. Here's Burkamp! Classy finish from Dennis Burkamp. Well, they've needed somebody at the sharp end. They've needed an infusion of class. And they got it from Burkamp. Wonderful goal. Three-man move, fantastically finished by the Dutch scoring master. Carnu's touch. Oh, that was a late flag. <laughs> Henri stroked the ball superbly past the goalkeeper. And the flag didn't raise until after he connected with the ball. And from that replay, it's unconvincing the fact that he was offside. Parla. Bergkamp. Henri in support. Burkham has the ability not to use him, Schwarzer half stops it and bailed out by Fleming. Dean and Ince combine to clear. Winterberg, stolen by Ricard. Presented to Ziga. Ricard continues his run, he's onside. This could be the finish. It's Ricard, Manning and saves, still a chance. And what a tremendous save by Alex Manninger. He turned himself inside out to keep Arsenal in the game then. Now look once more, the defence AWOL. Ricard had the run of the half, stopped once and then somehow, somehow stopped twice. Henri. Ten players defending. The middle's break. Now Janino breaks. Run, 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 so the Borough fans. Ricard alongside him wants the ball and gets it. Great skills. Ricard keeps his feet. Gets through Grimondi. Oh, quite put it on the toe end of Brian Dean. We played three strikers, we thought we'd get out of their back four, and uh, it worked quite well today. Young Andy, Andy Campbell came in, and Brian Dean played on the right, and uh, it's, a, it's a system we've played a couple of times before, and uh, we thought we'd try it today, and luckily it worked today. It's important for me today to come in you know, and put it about, you know, and uh, I was very pleased with the, the, the game went for myself personally, and I hope long might continue. In the second half, I think the referee made a terrible decision on the corner, because it was not a corner, and uh, we conceded as well a stupid goal that uh, made us run after the goal and it gave him confidence. Arsene Wenger not happy with the corner that the referee gave, which led to the first goal. What did you make of that, Brian? Yeah, I mean, I think as the ball goes down the line to uh, Brian Dean, he makes a terrific run and Silvino is guarding him there. I actually think the last touch is off Brian Dean. I think that's where Arsene Wenger feels that was an injustice. And no because excuse of that. for not defending the corner, though. No, and I think that uh, they get it all wrong here. Arsenal come out. As you can see there, a defender's been left in. Ince and Dean still in the thick of it. Most of the Arsenal players have actually chased the ball out, which is a correct thing to do. One Arsenal shirt has got left in, and uh, Paul Ince, you know, great little back header here, past Alex Meninga, of course. It came on as a second-half substitute for David Seaman. 
and uh, Middlesbrough found themselves then in the front, uh, leading by example the skipper. Bad mistake here from Patrick Vieira. Feels that there was a push on him by Andy Campbell, but Rickard does superbly well. Nut nutmegs, Petit, great finish into the bottom right-hand corner of Meninga's goal. But uh, Middlesbrough needed that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact is that Arsenal got a fantastic record. I mean, they won six-one up there last season. Yeah. So um, I think that um, you know Brian Robson, Viv Anderson would have been hoping again to exploit the fact that Arsenal had been involved in. Uh, UEFA Cup action on Thursday night. They'd had a, a trip back from Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps that would have taken a lot out of them. Arsenal rested a couple of players. And Arsenal were disappointing today. I thought they got their act together in the second half when Bergkamp came on. A wonderful goal from Bergkamp. Oh, it was, it was wonderful. I mean, it's typical Dennis Bergkamp. But at this stage, you know, Arsenal were going for it. Canoe, Henri and Bergkamp were on the field at this stage. And that's an audacious little flick. I mean, Schwartz is massive here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and to just do this with the outside of his foot, but that's a terrific ball from Henri. It wasn't easy when he's under so much pressure. And uh, once again, how calm and composed we've seen Dennis Bergkamp in those positions. Arsenal slipped to fifth now. How's the Champions League looking for them? Yeah, difficult. Um, I think that the only saving grace was that uh, Chelsea slipped up yesterday, Liverpool slipped up yesterday. So. I think the fact that they've lost, they haven't lost too much ground, but of course Leeds keep churning out results. And yeah. I think uh, at the moment, you know, Man United, Leeds certainly look very strong and there is a real chasing pack now. OK, now later in the programme we've all of Saturday... The road staged a European question from the Nationwide. I should be... ...to their exit from the Champions League. But Thierry Henry has scored in every round and made the most of Patrick Vieira's vision to maintain his record against Werder Bremen when at Highbury. The Germans rarely troubled a gunner's defence marshalled by the returning Tony Adams and they secured the insurance of a second goal when Carnu's unwitting assist allowed Freddie Youngberg to drill Arsenal closer to a semi-final place and keep their hopes of silverware alive. Nigel Adderley, BBC News.